lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? Here are the five for the Suns. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt. KD up front. Grayson Allen is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. Down low, Allen. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. Yeah, they connected from outside all game. And the defense had absolutely no answer for it. And you talk to coaches around the league, and they'll tell you sometimes the ball just goes in. It's as simple as that. Outside Booker launches it. Nails it from beyond the arc. Shoots the lights out. Booker has limitless range. Booker against Curry. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Curry. One shot. Here's Booker. He's a tough guy to check. Averaging almost 28 points a game. Pass to Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. Nice pass. Such a unique talent on both ends. That time Booker showing us his vision. The Warriors have gone two of three from the floor. And one thing that makes Devin Booker so dangerous as a scorer, his ability to create for others, Richard. Yeah, you have to respect his passing, which prevents the defense from loading up against him. In fact, coming into the league, some scouts liked him as a point guard. And Phoenix has possession. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. That one drops for him. Curry's got nine. He's a magician inside. Curry always finds a window. Here's Booker. Nurkic to screen on Curry. Booker for three. Rebounded by Green. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. The three from Curry knocks down the triple. 12 points for him. And their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Booker against Curry. Booker, the pass to Allen. Back to Booker. To end the run. Good on the jump shot. Booker's so lethal from the mid-range. Booker's just one of those guys that can hit you at all three levels. Pass to Green. Wiggins outside. Green, the pass to Curry. And that comes off the assist by Green. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Curry against Booker. And here's Beal. Back to Booker. Softly drops in the floater. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. And Curry's got the ball here for the Warriors. Six-point game. The Suns beat him last time when these two met in Phoenix. Last time, they lost a close one against this team. You have to wonder what they could have done if it wasn't for their foul trouble in that game. Getting into foul trouble will really handcuff you, and they found that out last time. Here's Booker. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. Wiggins against Allen. Right side green. On the attack, Curry. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. Really taking charge of the game. Largely with a detailed interior attack. Yeah, they haven't appeared in a rush at all. They are just playing to their strengths and building this lead out well. Phoenix calls timeout.
Bridges. Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. O'Neal comes in for Durant. And Okogie is subbed in for Allen. There's a minute 12 left to play in the first quarter. Inside, here's O'Neal. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Slick feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. Time to call the Warriors. And the Warriors making a switch here. Curry's checked in. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Bradley Beal. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. 59 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Green. Here's Pajemski. Curry draws the double. Stolen by Booker. To the middle. And then Beal with the dunk. One of the most desired trade targets in the league. Seemingly every year, Beal is just a baller. On the attack, Curry. And that's basket number nine for him. He's nine for ten. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. Now here's Booker. He's closely guarded. Here's Eubanks. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Taking on more playmaking responsibilities, Booker has matured over the years, becoming a better teammate. Booker against Curry. Pass to Green. Here's Looney to the inside. Here's Curry. And the shot goes down. Curry's got 23. What focus from Curry on offense so far, doing everything he can to provide a lift for his squad. And so it's the Golden State Warriors up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. And they've done well in limiting Durant's production, making him uncomfortable and getting him out of rhythm. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. For those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Oh, boy, they've been driving deep into that defense early on, and it's paid off. Great penetration from the perimeter so far. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. Dario Saric is out there with Moody. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then there's Kevon Looney. And it's Pajemski in at the two. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. And with a single punch in last season's training camp, it seems the Warriors' culture of joy and togetherness really took a hit, Grant. You know, I agree, B.A., and that's what they need to recover from. You know, keeping that connection and commitment to a common purpose is so crucial to winning. Pass to Curry. Here's Pajemski. Still no points. And there's another one for the Warriors. Such a quick release. As soon as the ball touches his hands, it's gone. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Devin Booker knows that fame comes with downsides. He said, quote, I'm on the bigger stage, so there's going to be more haters. That's life. But every day I wake up grateful for the opportunity to play. Back from being a little kid who wanted to be in the NBA, I never lost sight of that. That's what keeps me going. Brian? Okay, Ali, thank you. Good stuff. Beal against Curry. 
now here's Beal. Guarded closely. Gordon can't hit. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. They lead by 11. Largest margin of the game. The three is up. And the Warriors with another three. And he is flat out taking over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. The Suns have gotten two of five shots to fall this time second out, quarter. Out. Phoenix, Phoenix calls timeout. Time so, Grant, if you were a GM Start. and you could choose one young player to build around, who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, B.A., I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbanyama. I know he's a young fella. He just got drafted. But the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size. He is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion. And I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him. A lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. And for Sharich. And it's Andrew Wiggins in for Moody. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. It's Booker on the wing to stop the run. Ooh, Booker from range. Three Pure. Points. Yeah, so good to see Booker knocking down the corner triple. A go-to score with considerable range. And when it comes to Royce O'Neal, there's a reason this guy plays big minutes, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all because he has the trust of his teammates and his coaches. Just a high IQ guy who never plays in a rush. Just five on the clock. Curry, no good. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Booker, the pass to O'Neal. Yes! And it's Royce Booker O'Neal. with the setup. Three pointer. Booker's got his third assist of the night. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Pass to Pajimski. Outside Kaminga. Here's Curry, Booker defending. Perhaps the greatest shooter the game has ever seen. Curry continues to age like fine wine. At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Curry. Two shots. And that one falls for Curry. Durant, he's checked in for Phoenix. Gordon comes in for Beal. And so Curry nails both of them. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Two minutes remaining in the first. Booker for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. They've led by as many as 14. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Oh, the driving skills are underrated for Stephen Curry. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Wiggins against Allen. Right side Booker. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. Booker's got 12 points. And we've kind of come to expect this performance from Booker ever. His scoring is just that consistent. And the Warriors call time here. the teams that have been getting it done on offense. The Warriors number one in the third spot, the Suns. These have been two of the top offenses in the league as of late. Their confident shooting has been creating some really impressive point totals. Golden State has got all four threes to drop from downtown in this game. Pass to Kaminga. Thompson outside. Now here's Green. 
Outside Curry. Out to Thompson. Back to Curry. Shot clock at six. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Curry's got 39. With all the attention Clay gets, he can lead to open looks for others. Nice decision. And out of bounds. The Warriors will take it. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Golden State Warriors. On Monday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Utah, going up against the Jazz. And then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. And for their matchup with the Jazz, that's one that could easily go either way. A few mistakes could be the difference. I expect it to be a fun one. Nurkic has checked in for Phoenix. Bradley Beal comes in for Gordon. Curry against Booker. They double-team Curry. Oh, a strong finish from Curry. As they set their sights on locking up the win, he has to do everything in his power to make this happen. against Booker. Here's Beal. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins got four rebounds in the game. And stolen by Booker. Off they go. It's a three-on-one break. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Out of bounds. It'll be Warriors ball. The Warriors have gone seven for eight now in the second quarter. Pass to Green. Thompson outside. Outside Curry. Shoots over Booker. That's good from Curry. On the assist by Kuminga. Curry's got 43 points. For three, Allen. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Warriors. Over 40 points tonight and making it look easy. Back to the game after this break. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. A clinic in execution so far as it's been a dominant showing for Golden State. The way this has looked, this must feel like a shoot around to them. They're jogging to spots and getting open. I think I could even get open right now, Shaq. Kenny, we've seen you run to the ball. You're not getting open. And now let's take a moment to look at the upcoming games on the schedule. They should win most of these games, Ernie. They're playing great. The guys are connected. Everything's been in sync. And as long as you don't play down to your opponent, you can get some easy Ws. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. And let's see if the D adjusts make life a little more difficult on him. And it's Beal with the ball for the Suns. They trail by 16. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. Second half underway. Here's who Frank Vogel's got on the floor. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal the backcourt. And KD up front. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Grayson Allen. Booker against Curry. Outside Kaminga. The kick out. Curry. Another three for Golden State. It's another day at the office for Mr. Curry. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. 
Brian, the new leadership for the Suns is proving to be aggressive right from the jump. Within days of new ownership taking over, the blockbuster trade for Kevin Durant was executed. The luxury tax bill increased, but the message from the Suns' top brass was we're focused on winning and not money. Money follows success. Yeah? No doubt about that. And with Beal in the mix, they are all in. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Pass to Nurkic. It's Booker on the wing. 12 points for him. Nurkic a screen on Curry. Such a wide open look. Booker's got 14. Gotta be impressed with Booker's basketball IQ. Superb at scoring off of pick and rolls. Well, Richard, as the first overall pick, some of the highest expectations were put on Wiggins at a very young age. Yeah, while playing high school ball, some recruiter analysis called him the Michael Jordan of Canada. That's some big shoes to fill. If it's not the highest expectation ever, I don't know what it is. Something lit a fire under them at the half. They started this quarter going three for three from the floor. Here's Booker. Oh, that one makes him seven for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. Booker with one of the most effortless strokes you'll ever see. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Time to get up and make some noise for your Warriors. This team. Already it's February. Let's see how things look out west. You take a look at Phoenix. They're in fifth place, right in the middle of the conference. Still time to improve that positioning. And of course, the Warriors, now five and a half games back. Well, I think for the Warriors, there's no doubt they feel the pressure mounting. I mean, failing to match those expectations from the start of the year is apparent. And we keep waiting for them to turn it around. And waiting, and waiting. And at this point in time, I'm just going to say it's probably not going to happen. Curry passes to Thompson. Wiggins outside. Outside Curry. Takes a three. And yes! Another basket! And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. Nurkic to screen on Curry. Pass to Nurkic. Beyond the arc. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. It's Wiggins on the wing. Outside Curry. They double team Curry. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Both teams deciding to change it up. Substitution on the court. against Green. Pass to Kaminga. Lock at four. Whoop, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. And here's a look at some numbers for Devin Booker. And his foul shooting has looked a little weaker over the last five games compared to where he was the rest of the season. I know how frustrating that can be, and I'm sure he's eager to turn it around. For Phoenix, they've gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Durant surveying the D. Takes it inside. Shoots over Wiggins. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Golden State has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Green in the post. Nurkic is there. Green, the pass to Kaminga. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And a chance here to check out this season's top free-throw shooters. Stephen Curry, number one. Clay Thompson, fourth. Both of these guys excel at the line. And you just know their coaches love it. Guys who are reliable late in games. Looney's checked in for Draymond Green. Phoenix is shooting a nice 50% for the game. Good chance here for Booker. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And for Nurkic, one of his key attributes, the ability to keep the play alive on the glass. Here's Pajemski. Booker defending. 
Looney against Nurkic. Time out, time out. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. for Kaminga, and it's Stephen Curry in for Andrew Wiggins. Okogie's checked in for the Suns. Gordon comes in for Booker. It's Kevin Durant with the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second team foul. Curry draws the double. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Puts it up off the inbound. Oh, connects again. And this game has his name written all over it. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. Pass to O'Neal. Now Beal. Give him eight points now. They get it back. For three, Durant hits a three-pointer. Durant's got his first three points of the game. Slick shot by Durant. Gets the pass and is in his motion a second later. Curry against Durant. Curry looking it over. Basket's good. Curry's got 58. You can tell he's feeling it. Hasn't missed a single shot all quarter. Outside Durant. to shoot from downtown that one is off got it up and so it's the golden state warrior ending the quarter with a 20 point edge it hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points they're winning with efficiency and more nba action on 2k sports coming your way right after this And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand and the Warriors with possession here we've got Kevon Looney Dario Saric is out there with Moody then there's Stephen Curry and it's Pajemski in at the two so that's the group out there for Golden State a shot from the high post and got it another basket 60 points this guy can't be stopped right now they've had no answer for him in this one Booker fires from way outside that three's off the mark since hitting two triples in the first half he's been non-existent from out there Booker against Curry Curry draws the double Again, that's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A remarkable performance from him so far. 
Booker finds Gordon. Three pointer O'Neal. But Jim Ski grabs the board. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Curry passes to Moody. Back to Curry. So you played and now broadcasted all around the league, Richard. You have a favorite arena when it comes to atmosphere? Look, there is nothing like playing in New York City. I used to catch a cab from my apartment to go play games. But let me tell you, the crowds in Boston, they are something different. Highest energy I've ever been a part of. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Now here's Looney. Back to Curry. Into the lane. The rebound by Allen. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. For three, Booker. And the Suns get another three. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for Golden State. Well, we might as well count those free throw shots. Curry is automatic at the line. Some changes for Phoenix. Nurkic has checked in for Eubank. Durant comes in for O'Neal. And it's Beal in for Booker. And that one falls for Curry. Around the league, we're increasingly seeing former players in front office positions, Grant. It's so true, B.A. And we need even more former players in those roles. They bring a perspective that a lot of front offices just don't have. They can add value with their experience. I really like this move. Here's Durant. Rebounded by Green. No wonder he's been off the mark. He's been hanging in the background, somewhat uninvolved tonight. That's good from Curry. All the assists from Green. I mean, no comment, but this is just unreal. Phoenix has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Beal against Curry. Outside Durant. Back to Beal. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. <laughs> the elevated playmaking of Durant. Passes like that really bring the team closer together. The Warriors have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Curry passes to Thompson. We've got 155 left to play in the fourth. They double team Curry. It's Wiggins on the wing. Clock at six. Thompson finds Curry. Offline with a three. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Allen with it. Now guarded by Curry. Here's Nurkic. That's good. And so Durant Nurkic. with the assist. assist yeah, in the paint, ahead. Nurkic can be a monster. He's got all the physical gifts he needs to dominate. Here's Curry. Oh, another one falls. 71 points and no end in sight. He's in the zone. The defense looks helpless. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Warriors. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout. But tonight, they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And this will go down as win number 25 for them this year. They may avoid hits yet again. Wow. Unreal. He's got the fourth most points ever in an NBA game. This man is on another planet. I mean, what can you say? One of the all-time great individual performances in league history. Honestly, guys, I don't know how you stop him. He's into the mid-70s scoring-wise. Now, Wilt's 78, Kobe's 81, and Wilt's 100 are the only higher scoring games in league history. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. And it's good! He hits another one! And that ties him for third all-time scoring for a single game. What a remarkable night. Boy, a game not to be forgotten. He has put on a show. And to equal a mark set way back in 1961 by Will Chamberlain, that tells you all you need to know. Puts up a three. And good! There's 
another. The good times keep rolling for him. Now tied for second all-time in scoring. Boy, the way he's been able to maintain his focus on offense all game. The defense throws everything at him, but he still scores. And to think when the night started that we see someone match Kobe's 81. I mean, his performance tonight has been nothing short of magnificent. And so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight, and the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Draymond, you were stacking the assists. How much do you take it on yourself to be a playmaker for this team? Uh, I play with a lot of great players. I just try to find them in the spots that they like the ball. Uh, you know, and guys are really shooting the ball well. You know, I've been a playmaker on this team for some years now. That's my job, so just try to get them the ball in spots on the floor that they like. You always bring it on both ends. Thanks, Draymond. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching as we present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry.